Welcome back Team Forever, back again with another video. I'm back with another taste test video. And as y'all can tell by the title of the video, I am tasting cookies and cream rice krispies. Cookies and cream flavored anything is usually good. So I am expecting this not to disappoint. I really hope it don't. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I normally with rice krispies, I add sugar to them, unless it's frosted rice krispies. So with this I do plan on adding some sugar. Maybe I'll try it without the sugar first. I'm pretty sure I tried, I did a Rice Krispies um, taste test before on another Rice Krispies. I think I think it was Strawberry Rice Krispies actually, yeah. Strawberry Rice Krispies or something like that, cotton candy, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I did that. Here they go. They just look like regular Rice Krispies with little black, small little black spots on them. So for the cookies and cream thing. Thank God this box don't have no green on it. Like majority, every single time I do a, a taste test video, the box has so much green. Oh my God, why is it always so hard to open these? These special edition ones always have the hardest bags to open. Please don't rip, please don't rip, please. There we go, perfect. All right, so let's put a little bit in here. A little sprinkle. <laughs> Oh, now this might be good to make Rice Krispies with. Rice Krispie treats with this. I mean, well, I don't know how they taste yet. Actually, I didn't even smell it. Oh my God, now that smells like, that smells like cookies and That smells like cookie dough. It smells like, like cookie dough. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. All right, let's just hope. I hope these are good. I really hope these are good. I can keep these in frame because they don't have no green on them. So, add the milk. I'm not gonna add no sugar yet. I'm gonna try it without it first. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want some sugar. All right, let's taste it right now. These actually don't taste that bad without sugar. And I can, I want to do regular Rice Krispies. I, I haven't been using sugar on my Rice Krispies for so long. I don't really know how they taste without sugar. Cause those, that wasn't that bad. Honestly, it just tastes like regular Rice Krispies though. I might have put too much sugar. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, okay. I can definitely tell that it's not regular Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispies. I see, okay. Not horrible, but Definitely not not nasty at all. They don't taste like regular Rice Krispies. You can tell that they did something. I mean, A for effort because it does, you can tell they did something. They attempted something. But it just doesn't like, it's not like immediately, oh, this is Oreo. This is cookies and cream, you know? Out of 10, I would give this like a five. Five might be too low, because it's not nasty, but it's just halfway there, not quite, you know. I think I would give it a five, five out of 10 for this. Not bad, not nasty at all, but it's just, it's just, it's not, it's not cookies and cream Rice Krispies. It's not, it's like Rice Krispies with a little bit of, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but. I would recommend y'all to buy it, y'all can buy it, uh, to try it out yourself. I mean, it, it's uh, you can have it as a regular cereal, as a regular breakfast cereal, but it just it doesn't taste that different than a regular Rice Krispie. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't taste that different. But it's it's good. It's good. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's nasty. So um, it might taste really good in some Rice Krispie treats though, over the stove. So 
That's it for this video, though. Leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.